I, I've just uh, redrawn the uh, the section geometry, the stress diagram, and some of the key uh, properties: the the 20-day compressive stress, yield stress, modular ratio, and cracking moment. Uh, what I want to do today is really to, to determine what the stresses are in the concrete, the stresses in the steel and also find the force in the concrete, the force in the concrete below the neutral axis and the force in the steel, then some moments about the neutral axis and see if we get the same cracking moment. So uh, last time in tutorial 1.2 1, 1 we, we used MY over I theory to get the cracking moment. Today we're just going to use uh, the force procedure and see if it, it comes up with the same answer. It should. Uh, so let's uh, let's start this problem then. We have uh, already determined the cracking uh, stress based on 0 0.6 times the square root of f prime c, and we also have the neutral axis worked out based on static moments. So to get the stress in the concrete, we we just have to use uh, similar triangles here. Uh, the ratio of of this triangle's uh, height to uh, to base should also equal the ratio of this triangle's height to base. So if we work out the um, the ratios, we would get uh, the stress in the concrete. Stress in the concrete is to 305.8. what the uh, stress in the uh, in the crack section is which is here so the cracking stress is to 294.2 so the cracking uh, stress is 3.29 MPa and the uh, distance is 294.2 so then we rearrange and we could solve for FC stress in the concrete is just uh, 3.29 times 305.8 divided by 294.2 that's uh, 3.41 MPa and then to solve for the uh, stress in the steel we can also use similar triangles, we can say that this triangle here the this height to this base is similar to this height to, to this base here. So Fs over N stress in the steel over N is to this distance which is 294.2 minus 50. In the previous lecture called this is 50. So Fs to N is to uh, 294.2 minus 50 that is the uh, same ratio as 3.29 the cracking stress is to this distance here, 294.2 so the Fs over N is going to be 294.2 minus 50 all that times 3.29 MPa divided by 294.2 it's 2.73 MPa But we want to know what the stress in the steel is. So the stress in the steel uh, would be equal to 2.73 MPa times the modular ratio N, which is 8.11. So the stress in the steel is going to be 2.73 times 8.11. 
which is about uh, 22.14 MPa.